bombs were right in front of me, but... What are you doing? Listening. Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. Can you listen to anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. I could almost see what had happened to her. Yes. Is that what it's like for you? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault. So there's a reason and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. Better. She doesn't blame herself anymore. Not as much. It was bouncing around inside her, closing up into a ball of wrong. Now it's open. She'll get it out. Well done. Thank you for letting me help her. It's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. <laughs>